Going on YouTube, Kurt's S7 here for game week two of the Fantasy Premier League. So first things first, it has to be said, there was a few late changes to my team, to the video that I showed you uh, last week. Of course there was going to be, I just panicked late and uh, luckily for me, nothing happened either way with the three changes I made. Uh, I had Musa in, I bring him in for Jamie Vardy, uh, I took uh, N'Golo Kante out for Fergouli uh, from West Ham and the last change I made was... Um, Taking Andres uh, Andres uh, Townsend out for um, Firmino, so uh, all six of those players uh, did absolutely nothing. They all got two points uh, two points each, uh, except for Gouli who did not play. So um, that's the team. Anyways, for this week, lads, uh, in the opening week, I got sixty game points uh, for the opening round, which is. Um, Pretty decent. I'm happy with that. It's in the uh, top 7% out of everyone. So if you take a look at the rankings, uh, overall, I'm in, uh, two, in the top 260,000 uh, players at a 3.3 million. So uh, very happy with that, the top 7%. So uh, it's always nice to get off to a good start. In, uh, but the only thing I wasn't happy with was my bench, but I'll get to that in a second. Courtois, two points. Friend, two points. Valencia, two points. Stone, two points. All four of those teams conceded one goal. They were all so close to getting that clean sheet, but what do you do? That's just the nature of the beast of Fantasy Premier League. Uh, but in saying that, lads, I had a bit more luck in the midfield. Nathan Redman got off to a wonderful start for uh, Southampton. Pleased with his performance. Uh, Firmino... Two points, very unlucky. Liverpool scored four goals and he didn't get an assist or a goal. So maybe this week's his turn. Uh, Mares got a penalty for Leicester. Uh, looked okay, didn't look the best, but converted a penalty. Happy with eight points. And Eden Hazard uh, got the three bonus points for Chelsea and also scored a penalty. So very happy the way Eden was traveling uh, in the opening uh, game. And the last uh, in the forwards, lads, we've got Aguero, made him captain. He got a penalty. Penalty, nine points he scored, 18 for me. Musa, two points, and Gray, two points. So uh, uh, I'm not too that overly concerned because uh, Burnley and uh, Leicester have some home fixtures this week, so I'm pretty uh, content with them. But look at the bench, lads. This is what was absolutely driving me mad. Ben Foster, 10 points. Fuguli didn't play, fair enough. Johnny Evans, 5 points. And Kingsley, 8 points. That's 23 points on my bench. And, and that's, that's only 3 players. I would love to have these players on the field, but like I said before, it's the nature of the beast of Fantasy Premier League. All right, so heading into game week two, this is my starting 11 right now. Could change, we'll get to that in a second. But anyways, lads, in goal, we've got Ben Foster, fresh off 10 points. Um, to be fair, under Tony Pulis, West Brom are a beast at keeping clean sheets. And that's why this week, I'm going to double up on West Brom. We've got Foster in goal and Johnny Evans at the back. A uh, bit risky doubling up on players, especially in defense. But if it comes off, you'll be laughing. So hopefully, at home to Everton, they can keep a clean sheet. I'd love a nil-nil in this particular game. It'll suit us well. Uh, anyways, we've got Valencia at home to Southampton. Again, uh, Valencia... I'd love him to keep a clean sheet, but more importantly, uh, he, he runs down the wing. Hopefully, he can get me an assist uh, cross, crossing the ball in. And uh, yeah, happy days if he gets me a clean sheet. And at the back, lads, uh, the last one, Kingsley Swansea at home to Hull. Kingsley got me eight points in the last game. There are, Swansea are at home against Hull. You would think they'll keep a clean sheet, hopefully. Uh, and if he does, happy days. Anyways, on to the midfield. We've got Hazard. He's on penalties, looked unbelievable against West Ham. He's away to Watford. Hopefully he can grab an assist or something for me. Mares uh, scored a penalty in the last game week. I'm very happy with his performance. Uh, wasn't overly impressive, but uh, let's start. They're at home to Arsenal, who are leaking goals massively. So hopefully he can get a goal or an assist. Firmino, Liverpool scored four goals. Unlucky not to get a goal or an assist. I still think they've got goals in them, Liverpool. They're away to Burnley, and hopefully Firmino starts up front like he did against the Arsenal game. Be happy with that, th about that. 
But the last change uh, I might be making is Fagouli. Now, Fagouli was on my bench uh, in the last game week, but there was a massive injury to Andre Ayew for uh, West Ham. Now against Chelsea. So I was thinking they were going to rest for Gouldy last week and he's just going to come back into the squad, anyways. But with IU's injury, for Gouldy, uh, if he's not injured, because apparently he's only got like a slight strain, I think they were just resting him. Uh, hopefully he comes straight back into the starting 11 for West Ham. But if not, I might bring him to the bench and if it's a real bad injury I might be making a change so so far he's going to be in my starting 11 at home to Bournemouth do you think West Ham have got goals in them and hopefully for is the one to provide crosses now at the front lads uh the forwards we've got Gray at home to Liverpool home fixture happy about that Musa at home to Arsenal they're leaking goals Happy about that. And we've got Aguero away to Stoke, who's in form. Got a hat-trick midweek, and uh, even though he did miss two penalties. So when it comes to the hardest decision of the week, is choosing a captain for the team. Now, for me, it's got to be Aguero. Aguero, for sure, has got to be captain. Um, he did get a hat-trick midweek. He did miss two penalties, but... Even though he's missing two penalties, uh, it's not the Premier League. It was in, I don't know where they played, somewhere in Europe. That didn't really matter. I don't think he'd be too concerned, but his confidence surely has got to be high scoring a hat-trick. But in saying that, lads, uh, if I could choose any player to choose from in the whole league this weekend to make captain, I would choose Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's got a wonderful fixture. High on confidence, he's got three goals in three games for United. Uh, at home to Southampton on a Friday night game. Uh, I'm pretty sure the lad's got a few goals in him. And if, to be fair, if he was in my team, he would definitely be captain. No hesitations. But lads, that's it for game week number two for the Fantasy Premier League. Please drop a like if you're liking this series. Um, pretty happy with it, the way my team is going. But uh, get your comments down below. Tell me how did you go this week? How many points did you score in the opening round on the Fantasy Premier League? And don't forget to uh, check down below for a uh, join the league and uh, be part of the Curtis 7 Fantasy Premier League. Anyways, lads, until next week, game week three, I'm your boy Curtis 7. Take care. Uh, boots.